Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer. Welcome to Medicine Matters. The topic, ACIP's new pneumococcal vaccination recommendation for 2022. Here's why it matters. Risk of pneumococcal disease increases with age. Risk is highest in those 65 and older and in younger adults with chronic medical and or immunocompromising conditions. These groups bear more than 90% of the burden of invasive pneumococcal disease in adults. Invasive pneumococcal disease, IPD, includes meningitis, bacteremia, and bacteremic pneumonia. In 2019, there were an estimated 30,000 IPD cases and 3,000 IPD deaths. Non-bacteremic pneumonia is classified as non-invasive disease. In 2017, more than 100,000 adults, 19 and older, were hospitalized with pneumococcal pneumonia. The old pneumococcal vaccine recommendation was complicated and confusing. The new recommendation is much more straightforward with only two options to choose from. A two vaccine sequence of PCV15, brand name Vaxnuvans, followed by PPSV23, polysaccharide vaccine, brand name Pneumovax, or a single dose of the new PCV20, brand name Prevnar20. If you choose the dual vaccine option, give PCV15 first. But no matter the order, the recommended interval between PCV15 and PPSV23 is at least a year. However, for those with immunocompromising conditions, cochlear implants, or cerebral spinal fluid leaks, a minimum of eight weeks can be considered. PPSV23 is a pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine made from capsular polysaccharide antigens only. PPSV23 does not produce memory B cells and it's T cell independent. On the other hand, capsular polysaccharides found in PCV pneumococcal conjugate vaccines are conjugated to a non-toxic diphtheria protein carrier called CRM197. PCV's mechanism of protection is T cell dependent and does produce memory B cells, so it induces greater immunologic memory. There's some concern that starting with the polysaccharide vaccine can blunt immune response of the conjugate vaccine. That's why conjugate vaccine, PCV, should ideally be given first. PCV15 includes the same strains as PCV13, plus protection from two additional serotypes. PCV20 expands protection to five more. PPSV23 includes protection from serotypes covered by PCV20 with one exception, type 6A. It also covers four additional serotypes not included in PCV20's repertoire. Here's some background on why there are two pneumococcal vaccine options to choose from. ACIP looks at available data. There are no head-to-head -head studies looking at safety and efficacy that compare PCV20 to PCV15. However, there is one comparing PCV20 to PCV13. It showed PCV20 triggered a lower immune response for 12 to 13 out of 13 shared serotypes. However, the clinical relevance of this lower immunogenicity for PCV20 versus PCV13 is unknown. PCV20 is likely to provide improved protection against the five serotypes included in PPSV23, but not in PCV15. If you give PCV20 alone, you lose protection against the four serotypes unique to PPSV23, hence the two options. Both options are included in the new ACIP adult schedule on both table one, vaccines by age, and table two, vaccine recommendations based on medical conditions and other indications. The new recommendation is simpler, but it may not stay that way. Some work group members favored a universal age-based recommendation starting at 50 instead of 65. This would provide more opportunities to vaccinate adults, but could lead to waning immunity later in life when risk of disease is higher. Administering PCV15 in series with PPSV23 combo presents more logistical challenges and there was more controversy. 
Some workgroup members also favored adding a dose of a higher valent PCV to those who already had received PCV 13 with or without PPSV 23. This did not happen. ACIP did not make this concession and did not make this recommendation. The reason? ACIP makes evidence-based decisions. The incremental benefit of adding an additional higher valent PCV to those who had received a dose of lower valent PCV 13 has not been studied. For more details and guidance, look for ACIP's complete recommendation and MMWR. For Medicine Matters, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer.